Tired of listening to the three of us? Want to hear what actual engaged couples are really thinking? On this episode, we are live from a local wedding show, picking the minds of actual engaged couples as they journey through wedding planning. When you truly want to know what's up, you go straight to the source, and that is exactly what we are doing. Take a listen as we share insights from those people that understand exactly where you are. You got engaged. Congratulations. Happy? Yes. Joyful time? Of course. Now what? Timelines, to-do list, and checklist 100%. Don't worry, you're in the right place. Welcome to The Ring, The Bling, and All The Things. Hi, I'm Christina Stubblefield, one of your hosts, along with my two good friends, Michael Gaddy and Sharon Rumsey. We have over 50 years of wedding industry experience between us. We have seen it, heard it, done it, and found a way around it. We are here to get you from down on one knee to down the aisle. Our podcast will cover everything from you saying yes to the I do's and all that happens in between. So buckle up and enjoy the journey. Now, let's get started with this episode. Recently, we got the great opportunity to be set up at another wedding show at Huber's Plantation Hall in Starlight, Indiana, for those of you all that are not local to us. Herbie and his team did a fantastic job. Mike, it was a great day. You and Sharon had your own booths as well. But I got to talk to some engaged couples about their wedding planning. And I'm sorry that you all couldn't hear all of the interviews until afterwards. But Mike, this first couple, Emma and her sweet groom, I'm so glad that you all got a chance to listen to the recording of it. I can't wait to share it with our audience. Well, I'll tell you what, one thing about being able to go out in public with the bling and the ring and all the things is that we get to talk to these bride and grooms and hear their stories. You know, even though I work with bride and grooms all the time, when you hear the emotional part, how they got engaged and so on, I just love it. And this couple it did this, so it's great. I 100% agree with you, Mike. I think that one of my favorite things is to get to be out, meet people face-to-face. I've been so cooped up with covid So I'm excited that wedding shows are happening again. And each couple, each wedding is its own unique story. And I think this couple that Christina is referring to, it was so obvious that this sweet guy could not picture his future without this lady in it. Without further ado, let's hop right into the interview. Okay, so we've caught up with a bride and her mom. And her very lucky fiance, and I'm going to ask them their name and some questions. So, Mom, tell me your name first. My name is Cindy Stairs. Okay, and this is the lucky bride and your daughter? Okay. Emma Stairs. And the most important person, right? The groom. Okay, what's your name? Ryan Moss. Okay, so what's the wedding date? Um, October 29th of 2022. So you got plenty of time to take it all in. Okay, so tell me, do you have a venue yet? Yeah, the refinery in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Oh boy, then you're going to like Fancy Clancy's episode because that's where her wedding took place. Yes, it is. So, mm -hmm. all right, I want to hear the engagement story. Okay, so I took her to my house and had a fire lit up in the background, had lights surrounding a a fire pit, and... My friends and I came over for to take some pictures, and I, you know, bought a little viewfinder that you know that has little pictures you can cycle through, and I picked six of our favorite ones, and at the very last one said, "Will you marry me?" And when she turned around after looking at it, I was proposing. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. That is incredible. At first, I thought he was just gonna give me the deer in the headlights look. Wow. Okay. How long did it take you to plan that? Three weeks. Did you know exactly what you wanted to do, or did you come up with that idea when you when you were going to propose? Or has that been something that you have thought about for a long time with the viewfinder? No, I had no idea what I wanted to do, and I sat down and just thought about how I was going to do it after I purchased the ring, and that's what came to mind. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so 
you're pretty lucky here. He put a lot of thought into that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So tell me from your perspective, tell me all about it, all the feels. So were you surprised? Yeah. Well, he got, what well, he didn't tell you. So he got me there under a lie and he was like, we're going to go have dinner with our, you know, with our friends. And so we were dressed up all fancy and I was kind of like, it's COVID. And I was like, that's yeah. Right. How are we doing like a dinner during COVID? Um, so when we got to his house, because he said he forgot his wallet, um, I saw the backyard all set up and that was like, I was kind of then suspected something, but then was just totally shocked because I had no idea that it was coming that fast. We always talked about wanting to get married, but had no idea. I was very surprised, and it was just very sweet. It was very shocked. He was able to pull it off, and you did not know. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Had no clue. That's amazing. Okay, so how long have you all been a couple? Uh, since November 2018, we are both physical therapists, and we met in PT school. Um, we were just friends for a long time in PT school and studied together and at like the same table for gross anatomy and all this stuff um and then eventually got together in november 2018 yeah okay so your mom's here with you so is she really helping out with the planning oh yeah <laughs> definitely definitely she'll i'll come home like every day and she'll have a new like i looked at this thing and what do you think about this and it's very helpful does she have her own wedding planning binder not yet but we've, we've talked, talked about, about it, it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so we've talked about it she said it's under development, and you all seem okay with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Okay, you respect their wishes. Okay, so now can I ask her a couple couple questions? Okay. All right. So did you know he was going to propose? Yes. Ryan came to Emma's dad and me in late September to ask our blessing. And uh, under the... Under the uh, guys of kind of coming to us to talk to us about Christmas and we were like hmm Ryan's never come to us to talk to us about Christmas in the past so we're kind of thinking maybe it might not be Christmas so so we were um thrilled and happy and and the hardest part of it though was hearing him say that um that the proposal wasn't going to happen until mid-November and so we had to keep a secret for like six or eight weeks and that was like one of the hardest times of my life because I've got a sister and a mother I'm very close to and no one knew um so so yeah just you and your husband could talk about it my husband and I and and our sons um Emma's brothers were there and of course they, they love Ryan and so we yeah we were all really thrilled but we had to kind of keep it to ourselves which was really hard thank goodness it wasn't longer than what about six weeks or so weeks yeah so yeah yeah but but yeah we were very excited okay so now some serious questions what are you most looking forward to on that wedding day um I think seeing my daughter marry the love of her life and us having a wonderful time as part of the family and the circle of people who love and support them and we just want it to be a beautiful fun exciting day okay what about you all share with me what are you most looking forward to Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I already have my dress. And so I'm starting to kind of picture what it'll be like to kind of see him and walk to him and say our vows. And I think that that kind of ceremony part will just be my favorite hearing how he feels about me and why he loves me and what he wants for the rest of our lives together and kind of sharing that with each other in front of everyone we love. Okay, you've got to follow that. What are you looking forward to? For sure. She took most of my answer. I think what I'm most excited for is to see her the moment that uh, she walks down the aisle for the first time in her dress. That's what I was going to ask. That's what I was going to ask you because some people do a first look and then some people are sticking with the tradition of waiting. So you think that's what you all are going to do is wait? Yeah, we've talked about it already. So we think that we'll probably wait until the actual ceremony for before me to see her for the first time. On previous episodes, we've really talked about this in detail because some of the best photos are the groom's face when you start to come down the aisle. So no pressure there. I'm sure there's going to be some great photos. I hope so. <laughs> okay, so with your planning, is there anything that you've found has been difficult or that maybe you weren't thinking of? Um, I think especially lately, of course I say this in a place with a bunch of vendors, but it's like just the number of vendors who are out there and kind of sorting through what you like, like just photography for an example, what you like style-wise and what's in your budget and kind of all of that stuff coming together in, in the perfect vendor. It's a lot to sort through, I feel like. And then coming down to the decision, the deciding factor of that. 
What about you? Is there anything you've come across or thought of? Uh, I feel like I've, I've thought of a lot, but it seems like every day I'm realizing that there's even more to think about. And so the so the overwhelming number of decisions and details, and we're very organized and we're good at planning, and again, a year and a half before the wedding, so, you know. But even still, it feels like, uh, whew, um, there might be some... some decisions that we hadn't thought of before. Um, like, should we have a day of coordinator? Should we do, you know, those kinds of things. So, um, so yeah, every day is, um, we're learning <laughs> something new every day and then kind of going, okay. Uh, what are, what do you want to talk to me about? What are you looking most forward to in making a decision or planning or in this process? Besides marrying your beautiful bride. I think that, yeah, I think the most exciting thing for me to plan and decide on would be food. Um. <laughs> Very good. Besides deciding to marry her, the food is what I'm looking most forward to. And leading up to making this, the decision, the sampling and all that? Yes, the sampling especially. <laughs> well, and it sounds like he's going to be active in the planning, and that's always nice. You like that? Yeah, I like to make some decisions or at least help with the decisions and things like that. Just have my input so that way I'm not surprised. At least, at least in a few places, right? Yeah. yeah. Just a few places. I'll take a couple of decisions. <laughs> some don't even get that. Uh, we've heard of some, so just you, you all are doing really good. So, well, congratulations. Maybe as you get closer or after your wedding, you come back and we can do an episode in our studio and get everyone's feedback. We just love to share with others because unless you've done this, you've not been through it. So it's just great to get your all's input just starting out. Oh, I'm so glad that I got a chance to do an interview with Emma and her family and soon-to-be groom. I should say, I guess, husband would be the right way to say it. So thank you, Emma. Shout out to you for taking time to stop and share with me your planning. And then let's turn now to this second interview we're going to share with you all. And Sharon, honestly, there's no words, just so many different emotions in this interview but Shelby and her family, what a trio. I really, really loved getting to know this family a little bit. Um, I just got to talk with them for a few minutes at the show. But I'm telling you what, this groom has got some huge shoes to fill. Because standing in front of us is three generations, two extremely long marriages. So... I think that they have a lot of good advice to offer, and I'm really, really anxious to follow them through their planning process. So let's just jump right in, and let's talk to Shelby, Miss Rita, and her mom, Tina. Okay, Mike, we've landed with one of your upcoming weddings. Okay. Shelby. Shelby is September 21st, 5th, 25th, <laughs> and they're getting married here at Huber's, and I think Grandma and Mom is real excited. I think our mom is one of our listeners on the podcast. So well, I've already told her I'm going to ask her some questions, but I'm going to Shelby first because okay. she's the bride. Okay. All right, Shelby. So your wedding date is September 25th of this year. All right. You're getting married at Huber's. I want to hear the engagement story. Will you share with me the engagement story? Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, last year, about this time, um, we were actually planning to go to California. And so he was waiting for stores to open back up and get a ring, but finally he ordered one online. And so he gets it in the mail and comes home from work, and I'm sitting on the couch with a headache. California's canceled, so obviously that proposal's not going to happen. And so we're sitting there, and he's like, okay, I can't keep in my pants any longer. <laughs> and he's like... I'm like, what are you doing? And he reaches in his pocket and then pulls the dog over. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, we deserve some happiness right now. We've lost a lot this year and we, we deserve this. And oh my gosh. And he included. Okay. All right. Tell me your groom's name and your dog's name. <laughs> Tracy. And my dog is Maisie. Oh, that is awesome. Okay. Definitely a unique story, right, Mike? <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Uh, Grandma, tell me what you think about that, Rita. I'm speechless. I can, I can tell. I can tell. Yeah, but the one thing is, I have never been grandma. I am grandmother. I am not the grandma type. I am, see, I'm drinking wine in the whole nine yards. Well, Miss Rita, can I call you just Miss Rita then? That would be perfect. I'm going to have a special table up by the bar that's reserved just for me. If anybody wants to come and see me during the wedding reception, 
Come on by. Is that why she did a winery so you'd have a good selection? Oh, definitely, definitely. Okay, we're going to go over here to Mom. Woo, I did not expect that answer. I know, yes, I know. We were all surprised. Okay, so tell us, what are you most excited about with this wedding planning, besides our podcast? Uh, Miss Rita just said sangria. Excellent <laughs> answer. Um, just the whole celebration of them coming together, finally. It's been eight, eight years. Been together for eight years. And he has been waiting, um, had a couple bumps in the road where he wasn't able to purchase the ring he wanted. And was able to hold off. He did ask uh, her father and I in March if he could propose to her. Um, and this was when we were still planning our trip to California. And with everything with that, we were unable to do that. So, But they kept the trip, the proposal from us until Saturday morning. Uh, wow. So on Wednesday night. And they kept it a secret until Saturday morning because they wanted to come to our house and to his mom's house and to be able to celebrate with all of us when we weren't working or... Wow. You know what I can tell just meeting you all for this few minutes? Family is definitely important. For sure. We made our rounds that day and it was weird. We're still obviously at that point, this was derby week of 2020. You're trying not to hug people. You're like... Okay, you can look at my ring, but don't touch my hand and with mask. And it was a rough year for a lot of people, but there's happiness in all the years. So, well, that's incredible. So, Miss Reed is happy because it's going to be at a winery, and she is she really going to get a special table by the bar, or is she I just telling? They, I think they already have one up there that looks like pretty close to where she wants it. So. Is that was that where she's been today? <laughs> no, she she's been walking with me today. So, well, and how nice to be here with your grandmother and your mother. That is very nice that they came with you. Okay, now I'm going to go back here to your grandmother for just a minute, Miss Rita. What are you looking forward to the most at this wedding? I just, Besides the wine, I already know that answer. Wine aside, I just want my granddaughter to be happy and to have a long and prosperous life with her new groom. And I think they really like him. I really can tell that from your mom and your grandmother. You just celebrated 56 years? Yesterday was our 56th wedding anniversary. Okay. Sorry, Shelby. I got to steal her for another minute. Okay. What's the secret? What's the secret? Tolerance. No. <laughs> Mike, I mean, what, what do you say? Whatever the lady says is what they need to do. Is Miss Rita or grandmother? <laughs> right. Rita, whatever Rita says. Is, that's the way it, it's all about her. <laughs> Oh, no, in your marriage, it's all about you. Whatever you say goes. That's amazing, though. That is something to really celebrate, honestly. Okay, how long have you been married? We'll be married 30 years in March. So, no, 30, 29 years in March. I'm sorry. Wow, that's still, you. they've got the bar set really high, don't they? You've got big I've had really good up. examples, so... Excellent wording. Well, good luck with your planning. What, who are you looking forward to talking to here uh, besides Mike? Who? Yeah, um, really, I've, I booked a lot early last year because I was laid off with COVID. So it's more just kind of seeing my vendors again, seeing Plantation Hall all decked out today. And um, so I've got cakes by Lisa here I'm going to go talk to and met with Kerbers for a bit. That was cool. So. And actually, just being out celebrating with your mom and your grandmother, honestly, just to be able to be out. Hubers, the sons finally came out. Congratulations, and thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. We really appreciate it. Good luck with everything and keeping these two ladies in line. Tell me about it. <laughs> Gosh, I'll tell you what. I know you all have something to say about this interview, too, but I got to say, Miss Rita, I didn't mind one bit being corrected from saying grandma. Which Grandmother. Is, yeah, right. Right. Which is what I always called my grandparents was grandma and grandpa. So met, meant no disrespect, but her humor and just being around them, you could just tell they were so fun. So shout out to Miss Rita, Tina, 
and Shelby. Thank you all for taking time to talk to us. I know you all loved the interview as well. Great, great, great. I'm looking forward to working with that family. That's yes. right. You're yes, yes you're looking doing that forward one. to it. Yeah. I am not working with this family, but I'm really jealous of everyone who is because Miss Rita is going to be fun. Well, I don't know about you, but I'd like an invitation. I'll go with that table with Miss Rita. Yes, I would love. I'll, I mean, I might even volunteer to work at the bar if they'll let me. I'll be her date. I tell you what, a table at the bar, you can't go wrong, right? So, Shelby, good luck with all of your planning. And we can't wait to hopefully snag these brides and their significant others in maybe to hear after their wedding or as they get closer to their date. So, it's always nice, as Mike, you mentioned earlier, about being out in the public, getting to talk to people, hear firsthand about their planning and wedding shows. There was just this, it's very hard to describe, a vibe in the room, an excitement. They People were out laughing and smiling and just happy to be talking about their it's weddings. just happy to be doing this again. I think people are ready. public. I think brides, grooms, their families... I think they're ready. There's it. Us as a whole, the human race, is ready for some joy again and for some celebrations, and it, it's time. I think 22 is going to be a bombing year for women. Going to rock it. Well, if you're listening and you're not engaged yet, you better go on and hop to it and get your dates because I think as we go forward, the dates are going to go quickly. So thank you all so much for tuning in. We look forward to bringing you more interviews with engaged couples to hear about their planning process and get feedback what they're going through so we can share it with all of you. So until next time, everyone stay safe and don't forget to connect with us on social media. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of The Ring, The Bling, and All The Things. If you like what you heard, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get notified of upcoming episodes. You can also visit our website, The Ring, The Bling, and All The Things.com for past episodes. And make sure to connect with us on social media. If you would like to help us get the word out about this podcast, make sure to share with your family, your friends, and anyone you know in the wedding business.